From the mind's eye of your business owner clients, business owners expect and secretly desire to have their CPA accountants really be a sounding board for them. Really help them understand what they're up against, help them navigate through, and the CPA accountant is usually the one who has the information, and sometimes accountants, you see it. You can see some issues that are going on with the clients, and some Sometimes you might be intimidating to jump in and just start that type of a conversation. Over the weeks and months, I'll give you other ideas on how to run a controlled business conversation, but the ill-informed Waris, which is a video I'm about to share with you, this is about helping a client getting in touch with not what they want to know, but rather what they need to know to get back in control of their business. And this is a tool that you can use to perhaps share a metaphor share this parable sometimes you can send this ahead and say I have something important I'd like to talk to you about but first I want to share this short story with you and you can go ahead and use this video use it with your clients as a tool to get their attention to touch on some important topics that your clients need to know I'm Bill Bayless enjoy the ill-informed Waris ponder it and think on it and remember create success on purpose the Ill-Informed Walrus, a short parable about living in the truth, how it affects you and your clients. How is it going down there? barked the big walrus from his perch on the highest rock near the shore. He waited for the good word. Down below, the smaller walruses conferred hastily among themselves. Things weren't going well at all, but no one wanted to break the news to the old man. He was the biggest and wisest walrus in the herd, and he knew his business, but he did hate to hear bad news. And he had such a terrible temper that every walrus in the herd was terrified of his ferocious bark. "'What will we tell him?' whispered Basil, the second-ranking walrus. He well remembered how the old man had raved and ranted at him the last time the herd had caught less than its quota of herring, and he had no desire to go through that experience again. Nevertheless, the walruses had noticed for several weeks that the water level in the near Arctic Bay had been falling constantly, and it had become necessary to travel much further to catch the dwindling supply of herring. Finally, Basil spoke up. Things are going pretty well, chief, he said. The thought of the receding waterline made his heart feel heavy, but he went on. As a matter of fact, the beach seems to be getting larger. The old man grunted. Fine, fine, he said. That will give us a bit more elbow room. He closed his eyes and continued basking in the sun. The next day brought more trouble. A new herd of walruses moved in down the beach, and with the supply of herring dwindling, the invasion could be dangerous. No one wanted to tell the old man, though only he could take the steps necessary to meet his new competition. Reluctantly, Basil approached the big walrus, who was still sunning himself on the large rock. After some small talk, he said, Oh, by the way, chief, a new herd of walruses seems to have moved into our territory. The old man's eyes snapped open, and he filled his great lungs in preparation for a mighty bellow. But Basil added quickly, of course, we don't anticipate any trouble. They don't look like herring eaters to me. More likely interested in minnows. And as we know, we don't bother with the minnows ourselves. The old man let out the air with a long sigh. Good, good, he said. No point in getting excited over nothing then, is there? Things didn't get any better in the weeks that followed. One day, peering down from the large rock, the old man noticed that part of his herd seemed to be missing. Summoning Basil, he grunted peevishly, What's going on, Basil? Where is everybody? Poor Basil didn't have the courage to tell the old man that many of the younger walruses were leaving every day to join the new herd. Clearing his throat nervously, he said, Well, chief, we've been tightening things up a bit, you know, getting rid of some of the dead wood. After all, a herd is only as good as the walruses in it. Run a tight ship, I always say, the old man grunted. Glad to hear that everything's going so well. 
Before long, everyone but Basil had left to join the new herd, and Basil realised that the time had come to tell the old man the facts. Terrified but determined, he flopped up to the large rock. Ch Chief, he said, I have bad news. The rest of the herd has left you. The old walrus was so astonished that he couldn't even work up a good bellow. Left me, he cried, all of them. But why? How could this happen? Basil didn't have the heart to tell him, so he merely shrugged helplessly. I can't understand it, the old walrus said, and just when everything was going so well. Lesson. What you'd like to hear isn't always what you need to know.